What's up guys? So long time since, I think it's been three or four weeks since I've actually recorded a video. Uh, the last two videos was my highlights and the other one was a away game which was four weeks ago. So since then, an update. We lost in the second round of the playoffs. Um, we won, the first game was away in Ortez. Uh, we were winning by seven points and in the last second um, a scrum kind of it went like this way the nine picked and goes easy two on one against the winger they scored missed the kick so it was a draw and then in the second game which was here which was two weeks coming up to three weeks ago this weekend uh, we were it was the weather was awful the wind was a shocking we chose the first half, so we were on this side. We were playing up, and the wind was coming into us heavy. It was raining hard, um, so we took a. It was a tough half. Um, they scored quite a few points against us. I think two try, one or two tries, and a few penalties. Then the second half switched around. They had all the wind, and we got all our points back. Uh, we took the lead. And then magically, the rain and wind decided to stop with the last 20, sec 20 minutes of the game. Um, and it, it was a real tough one. Uh, we were one point up in the last 10 minutes. Um, all we had to do, we were at the halfway line and we kept picking and going, picking and going. We, we, these are the last few seconds, like, I'm talking the last 10 seconds maybe of the game, 15. Um, and we, all we had to do, the 10 had to get it and just kick it into the corner. All we had to do was just, or whoever was near the scrum half, whatever, get the ball, kick it, exit the game, play down in their half, but the forwards kept picking and going, picking and going, picking and going, and then um, a sub, one of our subs that came on, decided to uh, punch one of their players, and, uh, well, yeah, no comments, he got a yellow card, went off the pitch, they had a penalty, kicked it, um, made it into the 22, and they 100% knew what they were doing, line out, Threw it, caught it, more. the whole team went into the mall and just drove and fucking we... Our players were in the middle, they went into the sides and then it was me and their whole thing came against me and... Fuck, I was just like, right, okay, see what I can do. <laughs> Hit it and then ref, penalty try. Um, and during this time, I was told that their coach walked up to our coach said, good game, good luck in the next round. Um, yeah, deserved win, blah, blah, blah. And uh, as he's shaking his hand, uh, penalty try. They won by uh, six points. So, um, yeah, absolutely gutted. So no, uh, no federal one for us this year. Um, they're playing Arkashon. They won the first game, Ortez, who beat us. And if they win this game on Sunday, they will promote to federal one. But all is good. Um, I have agreed to stay here for a, another year. Um, I'm not going to say that. Oh, it's good. So anyway, onwards and upwards. Um, now the in season is done. We are now in the off season. I did a week of I did a deload week. So if you don't know what that is, basically you're half the weight, half the intensity, um, just to keep your muscles active and going. It's kind of a little bit of recovery. Um, so we did that for a week. Um, and then this week I'm back at it, pre-season starts now. I had had the last weekend off, two days away with my friends. Um, and so I'm banging, I'm straight back into bodybuilding, high rep work, keeping it heavy as well. I'm following the 531 system, which I will talk about when explaining the next video or, yep, yeah, next video. Um, and yet, and I'm gonna start writing ideas of what I want. I've seen your guys' comments of what you want. And within the off series, off season series, off season pre season series, I will go through all of that. So the cardio stuff you want to see. Um, I saw a guy comment about kicking. I want to keep it mainly gym based, um, but maybe I will chuck in a. I won't do a whole video on how I kick and my training, um, but I will do a quick snippet, like just to take you through quickly what I do. It won't last too long. Um, but that'll be in videos to come when I'm back in England, which I go back on the 31st of June, and I will arrive at home on the 1st of June, back in my favourite gym. 
Um, and until then, for these next four weeks, it's bodybuilding. We've got a game next week against an Italian team, touring team. So I've got to keep my speed going. I'm going to reprogram my speed, my top speed, my agility. Again, I'm going to go through my week, how I'm going to plan everything out, what strength I'm doing, the bodybuilding I'm doing. Um, and also a question, if anyone's interested, tell me in the comments. Um, I'm going to write up a program that I'm doing for basically the next 12 weeks. Um, if anyone's interested, uh, I can, instead of just quickly writing it out, I can do it all properly, um, put it into a PDF document, and I will make that available to you guys um, at a cost. Sorry, it won't be anything expensive. Um, I'm thinking I will make it available for maybe 10 pounds. 10. 10 pounds for the first week and after that I will put it up to 15 pounds. So that is how I'm gonna program. But again, if you want a personal program from me, which will be greater and more specific to you, I can do that. Email me below um, and we can get to programming for you for the off season and pre-season. So anyway, this is just a quick talk video of what I'm gonna do. Okay, what's up guys? So this is the first day of the week for me, which is a chest and tricep day. Uh, working on the strength system, uh, five, three, one. So week one, I'll post a table on now as I'm speaking. So you can see week one is 65%, then 75%, then 85%. So we're just doing three sets and it's all about percentages, it's not about the weight. So my current PB is 135 but I haven't hit that for, I'd say, two or three months. And the last max lift I did was 130 um, for three sets of one. So I'm basing it on that. So I'm going for 130, 65% of that is 84.5. So we only have 2.5, so I'm working at 85 kg. That's the first set. Second set, 75%, which I don't know what that is off the top of my head. Um, and then 85, so yeah, here's the first set. You can play the music, guys. <laughs> Nothing too hard, but percentages. Percentages. So this set is supposed to be 97.5 kg, but because I only have 2.5s, it is 100 kg. On this set, it's supposed to be 113.5 kg. Again, we only have 2.5s. And I did 115 uh, on Monday, and I only got four reps, which is quite annoying. So I'm gonna stick it at 110 so I can get the reps out. There you go. Right, so now that's my strength part over. Uh, and basically because I'm in like, this is the first four weeks, it's strictly mainly just bodybuilding, building muscle, then the next four weeks will be more strength work, then the final four weeks will be mainly power work. So after I've done my one compound exercise in the 5-3-1 system, I then go into bodybuilding uh, here, four sets of eight to 12 reps. Uh, yeah, heavy, Mainly, I'm trying to go as heavy as I can all the time. None of this light shit. So, let go. Before we continue, quick tip on 
Ch incline chest press. Don't keep your back flat. Watch how I, just watch. So, it's like this, the little curve here. So you grip, not like this, like this, okay? So the reason for uh, doing that, like uh, basically retracting your scapula, it's a technical term, um, so because it stabilizes your shoulders and it's a safer lifting point, safer, it's, it's safer for your shoulders on the demand of the heavier lifts. So for guys who are not sure on technique and stuff like this, uh, Fitness IQ, this guy you should follow, basically he'll explain it much better. You can see that, okay? It's basically, he says, about retracting your scapula to stabilize your shoulders. Um, it's an important, oh, sorry. It's important, especially at the bottom of the movement when your shoulders are the most vulnerable. So, fitness IQ, that's what it looks like. Follow him for technique help and stuff like that. I'll help you as much as I can, but you know. Anyway, on this body wing stuff, 45 seconds to a minute rest, no more, no less really. Uh, we're getting a pump, it's high intensity work, it's lots of ongoing stuff. Um, this is mainly a compound exercise, so I'm not gonna be supersetting it, but after this I'll be supersetting pretty much the rest of my exercise. But on the last one, I'll do a drop set. And yeah, final set, let go. It's not a super set, it's a drop set. Love it. What? Also, when we're doing this, three seconds down, hold, squeeze, get to the top. Squeeze, now this, there's no point rushing. Time and attention, the key thing to remember when doing hypertrophy bodybuilding. I'll continue. Okay, so now this is a hammer press uh, seated here. Um, it's a shoulder exercise, but done in a different way. It's you up here, right in your chest here. So basically with this, you have to mind muscle connection. You have to think you're lifting with your chest. Uh, Superset with this. Four sets, 12 for each. Again, lifting up like this. We're working the incline. Uh, a lot of incline hit today. Uh, usually, yeah. One minute break. talking so quick tip on the cable raises um, 
I find it better if you come to here together, then you race. Okay? So you come to here together, then race. And once you come here, you really squeeze the chest muscle and you come up to the top. Uh, Kalishi Opera. It's the way he prefers to do that. And honestly, if you guys think I'm crazy about this mind-muscle connection, you'll see when I'm lifting, I shut my eyes. Because I'm really honestly thinking, lift with the chest. It's honestly, it works. Yeah. If you don't believe me, Google it. Uh, go on Google Scholar. They might have some studies on it. Um, honestly, it's the thing, and it really, really works. Uh, if I wanted to, I can concentrate on my shoulders and feel it all in my shoulders. But when I'm doing that, I really, really feel it in my chest. So, one more set of that. Then after, you know, with my sessions, I don't write them down. I haven't got a bodybuilding uh, hypertrophy program. Maybe I should, but for me, go to the gym. I kind of, it's all in my head. I kind of do what I want to do, really. Sometimes I'll stick to the same thing, maybe for a couple of sessions. Most of the time, I do change it up quite a lot. It may be a negative, but mostly everything stays the same. But I like to change it up a lot. Anyway, continue. Born in the hood where the game was always easy Had two loving parents who could always pay to feed me That's Cobble Hill From Court Street to Hicks Atlantic Ave to Union Yeah, those lovely brown bricks Downtown Brooklyn, the heart of New York City Times Square's whack Yeah, sure, the lights are pretty But if you want that old the New York vibe From downtown to Brooklyn here. where the streets are Okay, so it's really loud in there So another way you can superset the flies Is this after you fly Is if after you fly you then go in like this with the two dumbbells pushing them together. So look, if I'm just doing this, but whereas I'm pushing them together, I'm really contracting my chest and pushing. Um, also with the barbells, with the yeah the barbell, when you're doing it, you're pushing your hands together against the bar. Again, look, if you're just doing this, yeah, it's great. But if you're doing this, it's a real you can't really see it. I'm not lean enough, but it's a real contraction. Final exercise is chest. Final exercise is chest pullovers. Uh, yeah, just three sets. <laughs> okay, tricep talk. So on this, this is kind of a compound exercise because this is for your chest as well. So. I'm just going to do four reps, four sets, 12 reps on here. Uh, this is also a good abbreviation to do for chest strength. So sometimes you go heavy on bench, you can change that going heavy on incline, heavy on close grip uh, press, uh, heavy on floor press. So there's four different ways to increase your strength on bench. Uh, and you should cycle, not cycle, but between them, basically, yeah, because you want to keep changing up what you do, otherwise your body's going to get used to it. So. Yeah, that's a nice little tip for you. Anyway, I'm not going to superset this because I want to go heavy, so... Okay, tip on tricep uh, pull downs. Simple exercise done wrong by many, many people because they want to go heavy. So, first tip if you are tensing your abs whilst you are doing this, you are going too heavy. Uh, there is no need to go heavy on this. Uh, if you do the exercise right, three seconds down, hold, squeeze the muscle, and then come up slowly. So, I see a lot of kids trying to go heavy in really shit technique. So. Have a watch, any of you youngers. Next, on to the T-bar push down. Another one I see many people doing wrong. Um, 
the wrists have to stay in a straight line the whole way. Don't get to the bottom and like do this. It's really bad on your wrists. So again, watch this. Controlled exercise, don't need to go heavy. Yeah. Start here. 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 This is how not to do it. This is how I see many people doing it. See the wrists, they gotta stay like this. Okay. Final two exercises in a superset for the session. Uh, in your tricep exercises or session, you should always get in a overhead movement to work the long head of your tricep. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna do overhead superset with dips uh, on a bench and tilt failure. Let go. Way chillin' in the backyard You'll find a couple youngsters smoking on cigars And taking swigs of a drink too drunk to think If you hadn't guessed that was me and the prince Only 12 years old but so damn sold That this was a life that we wanted to hold And we rolled blunts and joints straight full of middies Only shit we found but now we run the city Always huh, ha hustlin' Ask me I don't got it then I'll get it for a price And you'll finally get nice off some shit So with the overhead so with the overhead, so with the overhead, uh, my right tricep is bigger than my left, so I do single hand. Uh, if your triceps, your arms are, if your triceps are equal, uh, you don't have a muscle imbalance. I suggest doing really heavy, going overhead. Sometimes I do that. So with like a 30 kg, going real heavy overhead because it's really it's good to go heavy on your triceps as well. It's finished. We're done. We're going home to get some food. That's, that's a burner. I'll see you at home. I just got back, um, popped down to the shops, uh, forgot to Bring, got to bring the camera with me. Anyway, show you what I got. So, here we have some, I don't know what it is. It's got fruit and carbs. Um, the reasoning for that is because, show my face, the reasoning for that is because I love to snack. This is a good snack. Um, so, as soon as I come in for the gym, I might have just one of these, a bowl of this, whilst I wait for my food to cook. Uh, also, Two packs of oats every morning. Ritual without failure, I have oats. And I have around a thousand calories every morning just from that with the um, fruit that I have as well. Also, some buns. Two packs of 5%, 5% fat, keeping the fats low, only good fats. Um, Got some of this, gonna make a fruit salad with yogurt. Um, I'll give you an idea on a snack for that, which you can do if you want to up the protein. Got a melon for that. Got some more ham for my wraps. Uh, got some of this. In France, they only do syrup. They don't do much like Robinson's, you know, stuff they have in England. But of course, where is it? Zero. Honey goes on my oats every morning, every morning. Tomatoes for the burgers, salads, lettuce. Oh yeah, and my protein have just uh, gone into partnership with Ben and Jerry's. So I bought this, it's real good. I'll tell you the macros I got in it. So uh, for per 100 grams, you've got nine grams of um, 30 grams of carbs, 
20 grams of sugar um, and 80 grams of protein. Yeah, so it's actually really good. So you should really get that stuff. Yeah, I'm not serious. No, the reason why I bought that ice cream is because it's the weekend. Um, although the season's over, it doesn't mean I could just binge out all week. Uh, I leave that to the weekend, so the weekend is when I cheat meal, as they call it. Have some ice cream, I have some Oreos, see what else I can cook up. Anyway, that's it. Within the off-season series, I'll go through a shopping task. Maybe when I return to France, because I'm leaving very soon. I want to go back to England. Mum will be doing the shopping and the main bits and bobs, and I'll just be buying like the meats that I need. Um, because I'm home, mum wants to take care of me. And yeah, that's it, so I'm gonna, I'll let you into what I'm gonna have for lunch, and I'll show you that snack idea I'm gonna have. And uh, yeah, that will be it for the episode, so see you in a bit. So lunch is rice, lean mints, peppers, lettuce, yeah. Okay, so uh, it's been about an hour since I last ate the meal I showed you. Um, I've got a French lesson in one hour, so I've just made this quickly. So, burger, ham, lettuce, tomato, and then also in this I'm gonna make up the fruit salad thingy. Um, and then I'm gonna eat that after my French lesson, and then after my French lesson I have an hour and a half, um, so I'm just gonna eat that, and then after we're eating with the whole team. Right, okay, so I'm now off to my French lesson, and this is what I made. So, we have strawberries, melon, banana. Uh, this stuff is, this stuff, just crushed up some cereal and stuff. Added some, added some yogurt, gains in a Tupperware. Anyway. This is where I leave you at the end of the episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, any questions, email me, comment below. I will do my best to answer them. Um, and yeah, welcome to the beginning of the off season slash pre-season. Let's get it. Quick side note, um, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one. See you soon. Cheers.